Hey, welcome back. It's the all new season of The Mariah Report. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And back by popular demand, me and Dan have been getting harassed (laughs) all over the place. So we are returning for the new year because I think stuff is happening in Mariah Carey world. And you people, you listeners have been hounding me and Dan to return. So (laughs) here we are. And there is actually a lot to catch up on. So we're going to talk about everything she's been up to. We're going to try to squeeze it in and all into this episode. So we got almost everything covered, but there's oh, so much. There's so much. This wasn't no rush to catch up on everything today. So we're going to talk about the major things that have been going on. But before we get into all the Mariah talks, a little housekeeping here at the mm-hmm. show. Yes. A couple of changes are happening. So we're not going to be doing the shows weekly anymore however don't panic we're going to be coming don't get scared (laughs) please don't eat mail no no (laughs) but we're going to be coming releasing episodes every other week or as needed so if it gets busy and there's chaos and you know big things are happening we'll be making more episodes Uh, right you know it gets kind of quiet sometimes and so we're just going to slow down as well so we're we're going at the temperature or of the tempo Mm -hmm. of mariah herself so right. if she's dropping albums, honey, we're dropping episodes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, also, but something else that's different is that we finally figured out how to get you all involved in the show. And we want to hear from you as well. And we want to hear your thoughts. And you can leave us a voicemail now. Or you can fill out a little comment section, a comment form, and we'll read them out here on the show. And you can always email us. So check out the show description, the show notes for the, that information. Um, yes, and you know, I'm you excited wanna... for that because we got we to gotta hear what everybody's saying. And it will be like, you know, you can do it in real time for like the next episode that's coming out. If you want to, you know, comment on what she was wearing or a new song or whatever. Mm-hmm. Honey, we want to hear from you. Your theories. <laughs> There's always a theory floating around. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, so send so, them in. Yeah, yeah we love to hear them. Send them in and uh, we'll use them on the show right here. Yeah, it'll be but, fun. Yeah. Um, also, like, you know, it's been a busy top of the year for me and Dan. We've just been, stuff's been happening, you know, behind the scenes just in our own personal lives. So that's sort of kept us busy and away from the podcast. But things have settled down. If you were listening to the podcast at the end of last year, you would know that I was spending a lot of time in New York for work. And so I've officially returned back to New York full time. No more LA. The LA era is over for me. <laughs> for now. For uh, now. For now. Yeah. But, you know, it's but exciting. Hey. You oh, yeah. gotta go where you gotta go. Exactly, but it's exciting, exciting because I'm back in my old neighborhood on the Upper West Side, and you all know that as Mariah's neighborhood from the book, from the memoir, where she's running around, working at the sports bar, has a hole uh-huh. in her shoe, sweeping up hair, all, all that. That, that I'm in mean, that neighborhood, so yeah. oh, you know, a little nostalgia now. It seems different. <laughs> and now, like we're gonna be pretty much bi coastal, so we really got our feet on the ground in both ends of the of the country so exactly we got it covered (laughs) you'll take the new york end i'll take the california end and we'll figure out everything in between right divide and conquer exactly it makes it easier (laughs) right i know so that's gonna be fun well i mean i wasn't back in time for mariah to be on stage at some like a hut that's, that was like That's one big right. moment that happened. That's while we were right. Gone. Mariah is a producer over there at Some Like It Hot. Yes. And she made an appearance. I know. Well, apparently the show is very good. The people who have seen it are raving about it. I said it's fantastic. Yes. It's a must see. It's mind blowing. Some like uh, the choreo is something they've never seen before. So I'm yes. really, I really want to go see this and check it out soon. New music, all kinds of things. Yes. Our friend Mark Shaman's the over there. The of our show. And she's made her presence known backstage with gifts and, and all sorts of things, but she's finally here tonight. <laughs> there is someone else I have co-written songs with over the last few years, and she ended up being one of the producers of our show. And she's made her presence known backstage with gifts and, and all sorts of things, but she's finally here tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, some like it hot. But she loves it cold because cold means Christmas, and she's the queen of Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, Mariah Carey! I don't even know what to do over here. 
Just everything. I did have a special uh, favorite place where the lighting was gorgeous. And I was like, when I get up there, I don't want the side lighting, I want the frontal. So, what, a, what an incredible accomplishment. Some Like It Hot has a very special significance for me because. Um, I grew up loving Marilyn Monroe because I, my mom was a big fan of hers, and, and then, and then I found out about her, and I learned about her, and read books by Norman Mailer, which were too much for a little girl. <laughs> but I did it anyway, and here we are, and this is. I'm so honored to be a part of, to just to be able to say, I'm a producer on this incredible, incredible. <laughs> Magnificent, and I just want to say congratulations to everybody. Really, congratulations. You, you deserve it. Like you all deserve it. You deserve it. Seriously. I love, love, love. If I'm missing something, I'm not saying I didn't rehearse. I tend to not rehearse enough. That's uh, one of my flaws. <laughs> but no, really, just to say thank you. Thank you tonight for being here on this special moment when I get to be here on stage at the castle. Thank you. God bless you. Have an incredible rest of your lives in case I see you before that. All right. Bless and love. Yes, she is officially on the Broadway stage. I know, I know. And so that was good to see her out and about because now we're seeing her reemerge from the Christmas vacation. Mm -hmm. Because she'd been hiding away for a while. So that was one of the first times we saw her leave the house after, you know, her Aspen stay. I know. So that was fun. Yeah. And, you know, she's showing up for the production. She was not just a name on the ticket. She's there to support. Right, exactly. You know, she has to start meeting and greeting and mingling with all the Broadway people. Yes. If we want her to be doing other Broadway things. We do want her to do that. Exactly. She could be writing music for other shows, her own show. Mm. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But you got to get in there. You got to know who to talk to. Exactly. That's Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And apparently, yeah, apparently there's some like a hot too. It's very Mariah Licious when you get there. She does the announcement to turn off your phone in the audience. Oh, yes. Right. So night after night, people are hearing her voice <laughs> before the show. Girl just like me. Yeah. <laughs> hearing her voice all the time. <laughs> Tell, turn off your phone, Dan. Is that what she's saying? <laughs> uh, and then apparently in the playbill as well, the booklet that you get to take home, there's a, a good little biography about her and she's all mentioned uh, in it. So, um, you know, a little keepsake for the collection. Yes, and the cast and crew seemed very excited to have her make a, an appearance as well. They were gagging for her. I know, but I think I got my new favorite saying from her s- speech on stage. And it's, <laughs> enjoy, or what did, what did she say? Like, have a great rest of your lives. And <laughs> Yes, I was like, oh, that's great. Yes. <laughs> She's AKA. like, I'm never coming back. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy the rest of your lives. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Oh, she, listen, she didn't have a speech planned. She was just, uh, you know, going off off the top of her head. That's what you say. It's what happens. I've said <laughs> plenty of crazy things in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I might use that at some point. It's a good one. Oh yes, oh yes. In all kinds of in all kinds of situations. I know, I know. Okay, yeah. well, so that's what's been happening here in New York. But Dan, you're in LA. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been over here in LA because I'm not I'm never moving. I'm I'm staying, girl. <laughs> Listen, I didn't want to move. Here. The sunshine is good out there. Well, the sunshine is good, however, it has been raining pretty much nonstop. I think it's finally, finally over, but I think it was raining for like three months straight. I believe it. When I was I there. Couldn't, I couldn't yeah. believe it. I couldn't even function. Oh, I, I like, remember yeah. to do? Crazy. I got off the plane in LA and it was green, snow-capped mountains, greenery everywhere. I didn't know where I was. It obviously rained nonstop. Yes. 
yes, things are flourishing. Yeah. <laughs> water and things. Sometimes <laughs> too much water. Oh my God, yeah. it was crazy, crazy. And ugh, just anything. But so yeah, I've been here in LA. I'm working um, in real estate now. Yes. So that is taking up all my time, girl. I'm over here learning and moving and grooving and meeting and mingling, mm-hmm. doing things, looking at the multi-million dollar homes. I'm mm-hmm. like, Jesus, oh my God. Um, so yeah, so that's keeping me busy outside of, you know, stalking Mariah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, well, Mariah is in LA. She went over there and you had the ultimate Mariah encounter, Dan. So, I did. I did. Uh, you need to tell the story over here, but if you're a Patreon member, you heard the whole story about a month ago now, maybe it's two months, maybe. I think it's almost been two months. I think so. Yeah. But it was a huge event that came out of the blue. But, Dan, give us the recap for the This listeners. is, like, the most shocking thing that could happen to any lamb, really. I mean, yes. it could happen any day. You never know. <laughs> so um, my part-time gig is at a restaurant. Everybody knows that. And one day I went to work, and I was working a private event. I get to, to work, and it just so happens it's a Millie Bobby Brown birthday party event and i'm sitting here like oh my god that is so crazy (laughs) you know if mariah was here in la i'm sure she would come Mm -hmm. i'm just thinking this to myself you know i'm like but mariah's in new york we just saw her in new york she was just on on broadway yes yes (laughs) she's not flying all the way over here for a 19 year old birthday party even though she and millie bobby brown are very nice friends Mm -hmm. and then so you know i'm just working doing what i gotta do passing out the beverages because it's all underage people and this that and the other giving them you know a little food here a little food there and then all of a sudden i turn around and i see not mariah but i see her security guy Mm. and i nearly (laughs) dropped my plate of hors d'oeuvres i was like (laughs) oh my god yeah Mariah is actually coming here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And I could not believe it. Immediately, I stopped working. I was like, I don't know what y'all want me to do, but I'm not doing nothing. Yeah. Because now I'm waiting for Mariah. So everybody, some of the people who work there already knew, like the management and just the party event people, they already knew. But they didn't tell me. Mm. We're keeping it a secret. Dirty they tricks. wanted to see me have a heart attack. Yes. Could you believe it? But they did not get me because I noticed her people first. Because, you know, her people will come ahead of time and sort of scope things out. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, my God, I don't know what I'm going to do. What am I going to look? Do I look good? What am I going to say? What's going to happen? Mm-hmm. Girl. And here, so I'm like, okay, well, now I'm just got to wait for Mariah. Because yes. there's nothing else I can do. I'm too overwhelmed to, to, to do anything but sit and just wait for Mariah. So eventually, Mariah does arrive. Mm. It is everybody, the whole room stops. Mm-hmm. Everybody is gagged. I'm gagged. I'm like, oh my God, Mariah, I love you. And she just keeps walking. She has a little <laughs> tiny table in the corner that she and the kids are sitting at and whatnot. Yeah. And now these, this is the party that we saw on social media, right? Of Millie Bobby yes. Brown and Mariah was there lip syncing mm-hmm. and dancing to fantasy. Oh, yes, honey. Oh, yes. This was the party. This was the moment. Because, you know, at first it was like, it wasn't that like exciting of a party because, you know, not enough adults. Uh But once Mariah got there and once the DJ started playing some good stuff, Mariah was out there in the middle of the dance floor dancing and singing with all the people. And I'm just sitting here dying. (laughs) By the way, I'm dying. (laughs) <laughs> but I'm just staring at her for a good three hours, just staring, just watching. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a three-hour Mariah show for you. Our Mariah show for free. Yeah. It's just Mariah <laughs> being regular with regular people, and I just, I'm just like in awe. I'm gagged. I'm shocked. Uh-huh. So like when she arrives, you know, one of her people come over to where the staff is standing, and they and they say, oh, can I get somebody to go get a drink order for Mariah? And I mm-hmm. was like, oh, my God. Everyone's looking at me like, go do it, Dan. Go do it. And I was like, I can't. I can't get a drink order for Mariah. Are you kidding me? I would die. I can't I do it die. either. Yes. Like, I'm, I'm shaking. I have, I have to calm down. Yeah, I would shake I the tray. The, the drink will fly off the tray <laughs> on the way to Like, I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to do it. So I wasn't able to do it. I know. I know. I just couldn't do it. It's also like weird because she knows me. It's not like, you know what I mean? It's like, girl, like, I can't. 
just wait on you like we're uh-huh. friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, so eventually during the night at one point, I see uh, a woman who's in Mariah's group. And Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, she came over to the bar to get a drink. And I was like, well, that's what Mariah's drinking. So she just ordered Mariah a drink. So I have to say something to this to this woman because I want Mariah because I don't want to like go up to Mariah and fangirl out and be like, oh, my God, I love you. Mm -hmm. Because like she's just living her life on her day off. On her day off, you know, yeah. this this ain't this ain't no promo. Yeah. So so <laughs> I just want her to like not have to deal with a fan girl. So mm-hmm. I I just politely asked this woman, I was like, oh, you know, you're with Mariah. I'm her biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she could sign her book? Cause you know, at the restaurant I work at. We keep a copy of The Meaning of Mariah Carey in our server station. And every once in a while, I will break out the book and I'll open up a random page and I'll start preaching to the people about Mariah. Mm. And they love it or they hate it. I'm not sure. (laughs) (laughs) So we already had the book in house. So I was like, somebody go get me that book. Get me that book. I'm getting Mariah to sign it. Because, you know, my whole thing, like ever since the book came out, I've been like, Mariah, I want a book tour. I want my book autographed. Yes. Like, oh, my God. Like, this is perfect. And no one's had the opportunity to do that because she's been sequestered. Right. Right. (laughs) So I say to the woman, I was like, I'm her biggest fan. I would just really like it if she could just sign the book. Like, no big deal. Nothing. Like, I don't want to bother her. And she's like, oh, that's so sweet. You know, I've been working as Mariah's assistant, like, all for, you know, whatever. I spend 24 hours a day with her, and she is the nicest woman ever. So I'm sure she won't mind. But let me go ask her. Mm. So she goes asking, right? And then she comes back, and she was like, Mariah does not believe that you are here and you have her book, so she is going to come over and sign your book. And I was like, oh, "Oh my God, no, 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 please, no. Oh, my God. I'll go to her. She doesn't have to come over here because I'm standing over there and she's over there. And I'll go to her. I don't want her to have to move. She doesn't have to move. (laughs) But she's like, no, I swear, Mariah is real excited. She's going to come over. Oh my God. So I was like, oh my God, now I'm getting nervous again. Cause you know, at first I was nervous and then I calmed down because I'm just staring at her. And now I'm mm-hmm. nervous again because here now she's gonna come over here. Mm-hmm. And then anyway, so here comes Mariah. I see her like she was out on a little, little balcony area. And then I see her like we sort of, she sees me where I am. Because, you know, it's not that far. And then, and then I see, and she starts walking over. I'm like, here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then boom, the clock strikes midnight, which then becomes Millie Bobby Brown's actual birthday. And the cake comes out and the happy birthday and the DJ is playing all the music. And, that, and Mariah gets stuck in the middle of the crowd and she no longer comes over to sign my book foiled by millie bobby brown i can't believe it i I was so upset i was like girl you couldn't wait five minutes for the cake i was gonna have a moment with mariah like her birthday (laughs) she'll have another one (laughs) hopefully So I was like, oh, my God, I cannot believe it. I was like, well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because that's when, like, the party really started getting going. And Mariah now, you know, she's sipping and she's dancing and she's mingling and she's requesting songs from the DJ and everything like that. Uh huh. I'm like, well, now she's having fun, girl. She ain't worried about me. Um, But then her assistant comes back over and she was like, listen, Mariah might not stop. So at the very end, when she leaves, just go up to her. I've already told her, don't be afraid. Just go up to her. She'll sign the book, whatever. And if she doesn't, give me the book. I'll have Mariah sign it, and I'll bring it back to you tomorrow. And I was like, oh, my God, you are so sweet. Super nice. Uh, Girl, you come all the way back over here? (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah. So, so, so nice. And I love that nice people are working with Mariah again. I love yes, that. Yes, thank God. That is, uh, mm, mm, love it. Yeah, that was a good inside um, tidbit you discovered. Exactly. Yes, we got good people. People care. People care about the fans. Yes. That, you know, just as much as Mariah does. And that's who we want her working with. Mm-hmm. So anyways, long story short, now it's time for Mariah to leave. So she's saying her goodbyes. 
packing up her belongings. The kids have been running around. She's gathering the kids. Uh -huh. And it's like, okay, here she goes. Here she goes. Now I got my, my pen, my autograph, my Sharpie. I open up the book to the very front page that I want. You know, I'm ready, girl. Ready, yes. And she's not getting past me because I'm going to step right in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I stepped right in front of her. I just stopped her. And I was like, oh, my God, Mariah, I love you so much. We keep this book here in the restaurant, blah, blah, blah. And she starts signing it. And as she's signing it, I'm like, girl, what is she writing? <laughs> and I'm like, what, girl, I, I, that's, I don't know what she's saying. She's saying something to me and I'm saying something to her. And I'm just worried about what is she writing? <laughs> not me, well, you know, she loves to vandalize these days. Exactly right. She's just <laughs> writing and scribbling. I'm like, girl, what is she doing to my book? <laughs> um, but anyways, she takes so she signs the book. She's like, oh my god, love you, and then takes two steps forward, stops, turns around, and says, you know, I know you. And I was like, oh my god, I know you too. <laughs> Of all the things I could have said, I'm like, I know you too. Oh, okay, great. You want to talk about saying stupid things off the top of your head. Oh, <laughs> oh my, gosh. my God. And, and so then, so she, you know, exits again. Everybody is gagged, you know. The whole staff is like coming up, like trying to get a peek at Mariah. Like everybody yeah. is just gagged over her. Oh my gosh. She was super nice. And finally, I looked at the book and I was like, what did she write? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did she write? I got to see what she wrote. <laughs> and she says, um, she wrote in it, I live for you, love MC. Oh, wow. And I was like, oh, my God. That, that's a good one. That's a, that's good, a good one. one. If you can one. read it, it's a good yeah. one. <laughs> did she draw a mustache on her face or anything? No, 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 no. <laughs> Like she likes to do. But yeah. So that was my crazy encounter with Mariah. Like she randomly came into my job <sighs> and boom. That's like the ultimate Mariah encounter. The ultimate. Because again, it's like it's not her working. It's just her living her regular life. Just yes. doing what she does. You know, you know, I see her interacting with the kids and dancing with people. And girl, when they played fantasy, the whole dance floor opened up and Mariah got right in the middle as if she was on stage at Madison Square Garden and she lip synced the MF out of that song. Oh, really? <laughs> she gave us the whole first course was a pure performance. Oh my gosh. And I was like, is she really performing? She's lip syncing for her life <laughs> literally right in front of me. I'm dying. <laughs> Did you hear any like actual vocals coming out oh gosh no the the everybody was singing along so it was just like a whole thing like there would be no no way oh wow um, wow it was just crazy and wild and i so yeah i saw mariah just out there in the wild <laughs> in the wild living her in life incredible like so one of those surreal you were texting me while it was happening and i'm just like in disbelief the whole time just thinking is this really going down right now like oh my yes, god i know and i was like oh my god i don't know what's happening i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know but it was just it was just so good to see you know mariah just being a regular person meet greeting and mingling yeah just talking just regular just completely regular and totally sweet and nice to everybody do you know what i can hear the listeners probably have a million questions so this is for the perfect opportunity <laughs> to use our new features go check out yes! the voicemail and the Google form if you want to ask Dan a question about his encounter with Mariah. Exactly. I'll I'll take any and all questions yeah. because I told the long story of that on our Patreon show, like you already said. But like this is just like, you know, the shortened version. The short the long version, you're also getting my real time reaction. I had not heard the story yet. So right, Dan. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Um, it is a good one, but now, but here's the thing, you know, Mariah's been out here in LA, but we've been, what we've been hearing is she's going to be making appearances and well, not just at my restaurant. She's going to be out there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the streets and on the stage. I know. Well, she's been in LA for a long, she never left LA when she got out there. She's still there. Yeah. Well, she, had a, still. She, she had a quick vacation, but she's still back in LA, which got everybody suspicious that she's doing something. She's been working. Mm -hmm. But we do have stuff that happened, that news that came like, over the last few months or weeks. 
she, the big one is that we're going to see her on stage for LA Pride that's coming up. Yes, headlining Los Angeles Pride, like the main Pride. Because you know here in LA, they do like a million different Prides. Yes. This is like the main big huge one. It's not like the one they do in WeHo. Uh-huh. It's like the big one. On June 10th. Yes, I cannot wait. Big event. So now everyone, now I'm thinking, okay, is she going to give us the Citizens Festival set list? Or are right. we going to get a whole new set list? Because we're going to get a whole new set list. Because I'm thinking with the Pride, she might do what she did at Disneyland in Paris and do all the club mixes. Uh, yes. Club it up a little Can bit. Can we revisit that? We might have to do a back in time on that. That was good. Because that was gaggy. Uh-huh. Out there with the umbrella. It was raining. Doing all the club mixes. Yeah. Oh, I remember those days. Oh, they were good. So this could be another good moment like that coming yeah, up. Yeah, because honestly, I don't think Mariah's ever done a, a Pride here Not in, in the States yeah, at least. no. No. So this is going to be big. Yes. Well, hopefully that oh, what's her appetite wait. for it. She'll come and do all the big ones. The New York oh, one. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think Toronto has a big one. Yeah. Sydney, Australia has a huge one. Oh, yeah. Wasn't theirs just very recently? They just had World Pride. Oh, wor yes. World Pride was there. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, so we need her over here. All the prides now, honey. She's yes. out here selling the pride merch. So yeah, she better show up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I got a word on the street. I haven't told you yet. Oh my god, what? Pride related. <gasps> okay, what is it? So it's very more of like the back alley than the street. But oh, apparently, back alley. <laughs> <laughs> apparently. Uh -oh. There might be a collabo between Mariah and the other Pride performer, Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, really? That's what I heard in the streets. Okay, honey, if you heard it in the back alley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, well, you may have heard it here first. You never know. Yeah. Uh, girl, yes. The, everybody loves Megan Thee Stallion. Love, yeah. Love. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be great. Yes, yeah. get her, get her doing something on the track, or get her, cause yeah. But I don't know if it's like a it. uh, like a redone, a song that we know of Mariah's, or it's a whole new thing. Oh, Still, well, we'll see. I don't know any other details. We shall see, because you know there were also rumors going around because Mariah's also been announced as a host for the Hot ninety seven Summer Jam. Yes, another live now, moment. We, yeah, so oh, honey, she's booked. Look, yes. she's, and that's going to be June fourth. So she's got a busy okay. week. Yeah, okay. But there have been rumors because Maxwell is also hosting the Hot 97 Summer Jam mm. that they might do something together. I've heard those rumors too. Because remember when we saw them on the boat a few years ago? Yes. Singing that Prince song? Right. Oh, I love that clip. That could have been like the business meeting. Right. Because these like, things take years. You know, they were like, evolve. okay, what are, what are we doing? You know, yes. 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 Well, that could be good so too. We got to look out for that one too. Okay. Oh, do you want us to be able to keep an eye out for? Yes. What's that? It was that there might be a Mariah Olivia Newton John song coming out. Oh, that's right. That's right. Now, it's still, we still don't know all the details, but it's probably going to be hopelessly devoted. But we don't know if it's just the track from Around the World slash Butterfly Tour or if they went into the studio and redone it together exactly exactly because um olivia was going into the studio with a lot of people to make this little duets album yeah uh -huh. so you never know maybe that's because mariah's been saying for years she's been on in the studio recording <laughs> yeah so I'm like, where is it at girl <laughs> exactly like doing what in the studio <laughs> where yeah. doing what yeah. okay brain one song with brandy that's not enough <laughs> <laughs> So maybe there are rumors it could be like a, a new studio version. Yeah. So we have to keep a look, an eye out for that. So. Right, right, right. Um, so the Hot 97 with Maxwell, June 4th mm -hmm. at the UBS Arena. I don't know nothing about the U UBS Arena, but it's out there in Queens. Yeah, what would that have been, that arena? I, I, I think they do it for hockey. Yeah, I, th I thought it had another name for it. Probably, maybe. You know they always change now. I don't know. But let's see if I'm going to schlep all the way out there. Yeah. Because here's the thing. With Mariah hosting these summer jams, you don't know what you're really going to get. Yeah. And it could be just the yeah. end. You know, she might just make an appearance. Yeah. 
Like and when she did on the, on the Sajam show, showed up, sat down and left. Yeah, exactly. And then you, it took you an hour and a half yeah. just to get outside of uh, Manhattan. And now you got to take a train. The LIRR probably goes way out oh, there. Oh, yes, for sure. So, oh, girl. Oh, girl. And then have to get it back with all those drunk people. Oh, my Lord. It could be a disaster. Yeah, I might just Instagram that one in. See, <laughs> <laughs> see what's happening on Instagram. Well, one thing that I will be Instagramming for sure is her appearance at the Lovers and Friends Festival. I'm not going back to Vegas, honey. That's a trek for you, a trek for me. I was just there for work. And every time I go to Vegas, I say I'm never coming back again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never coming back again. Yeah. Unless Mariah's there. Right. But not for this one. Because I need, because here's the thing that I, I, I will go see her at LA Pride. Because like, girl, hello. Mm -hmm. But like, I need to sit down. During his show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just can't be standing up at these festivals, girl. Uh -uh. I am not a Coachella chick, okay? No. No, ma'am. I need a seat. These bones hurt. The mm -hmm. knees are knocking. Girl, no, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to go to Lovers and Friends. But I will definitely, will be reporting on it here. Yeah, we'll be following it on Instagram. Exactly, like <laughs> yeah. everyone else. <laughs> yes. But if you're in the LA, uh, Las Vegas area, how exciting. Mariah's coming to a stage near you. Yeah. And, and like literally lovers and all the Mariah friends are going to be there. Yes. Everybody she's worked with, the Missy Elliott's, all, all of those people are everyone, all going to be there. All our favorites. So there's potential for so many like guest appearances moments. Yes. So many. I know. That's going to be a good, I think that's going to be a really good one. So already exciting stuff is coming down the pipeline. Girl, I can't believe it. She's hitting the stage, stage, stage. Boom, yes. boom, boom. I know, I know. Which yeah, starts okay. getting people suspicious because why is she doing so much promo with no promo? So is there something to promote? Exactly. Exactly. Like, girl, what are we promoting? Yeah. What are we showing up for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need a new song. We need a new album. We need the Butterfly Lounge. We need a TV series. We need this. We need that. Oh, we love need Rarities Part 2. Basically anything. <laughs> anything. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> uh, well, so, oh, so much Lord. going on. Well, let's, a couple more LA tidbits to catch up on, and then let's take a quick splash break. So surprise of the year, I guess, is that It's a Rap made a comeback out of nowhere, thanks to TikTok. Yeah, I mean, it's having its moment. Yes. It's, I think that I think the viralness has died down. I think so. But so. It's a Rap was out here in the spotlight all over TikTok. Yes. Everybody was dancing to it, including it was, Mariah. Including Mariah. She sort of like jumped on the wagon early, so started giving us videos from Aspen. Uh, yes, but then, exactly. But then when she was out in LA, we saw her with Kim Kardashian and Northwest, her daughter. Uh, girl, I was like, what? I, that was what shocking. What are doing? Just hanging out? I, I know. What do you think that was about? I don't know. I have no idea. But I she know. looked real good. I love that ensemble in her, that one. Yeah. No, she Those, looked great. The, with the boots. The hair was good. That, and she posted that like a day or two after I saw her. And she like looked like uh, a totally different one. I'm like, girl, how do you like look so different <laughs> in like one day? Yeah. But maybe, you know, they filmed it some other time. But that was a good one. That was um, good. Um, but yeah, the whole thing about that whole viral TikTok and everything, Mariah released an EP for It's a Rap. Yeah, and that caused a little commotion because she released that. But then radio started saying on the radio, like, new Mariah music playing tonight. Oh, yeah, I was mad about that. Well, the fans were like, uh, that's like 10 years old. <laughs> like, there's nothing new right, about that. Because we're thinking, oh, no. Because Hot 97, uh, what's his name who does Hot 97 over Flex, there? Flex, Funkmaster Flex. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, he was like, oh, new Mariah music, new Mariah music. And we're all like gagged out, like, oh, my God, oh, my God, I have to call off of work. I need to be yes. home immediately. Yeah. And he's just playing the sped up version of It's a Rap. How dare? How dare uh, he? It's new to the local people listening to the radio. Know, but, yeah. But also, like, this whole thing of sped up music, I'm not in, I'm, I don't need it. <sighs> I don't need it, but you know what? I know they need it over there, but I don't need it. It's just good for the business, but you know what? I was scrolling through Instagram yesterday, and I heard for the first time, sped up We Belong Together in a video. Something oh, really? totally random. That... Yes. Oh, great. Maybe. Well, hey, if they like it, 
It's good for the business. It's good for the business. It's good for yeah. the pocket. Yeah, it's a little pocket change for Mariah. <laughs> yeah. Get these things streaming out there. Uh-huh. So, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm glad it's got some love and it has its own EP now. <laughs> it does. I'm, waiting for, I'm waiting for the glitter MC30s, but that's okay. Yeah, it's um, a rap somehow got the attention. That's all right. Hey, when you got to go with the flow when you when it's there, take it. Mhm. So, not I'm not mad about it. I did find it interesting, it though, it, It's a Rap caused a little confusion amongst the public because people were confused if it was from the Elusive Chanteus album because she mm -hmm. threw it on as a bonus track or if it was from Memoirs. And some people had no idea either existed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no clue. <laughs> yeah. Now we have so many versions of it now. We have the regular version, uh, the Mary J. Blige version, the sped up version. I know. All the, all the versions. Well, we do love all the versions, but... I don't need the sped up one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just saying. That's just me. That's just me. <laughs> well, because we're here for the, vo the voice. Sped up one, you lose all the voice. Exactly. You know, like, yeah. come on. That's, that's what I'm here for. But in F other LA Mariah news, she was out here in the streets. Mm. I was not out stalking her. No. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I know the place where she was at. I was like, oh my God, that place is like right down the street. <laughs> But she went to the after party for that new movie where her song, Always Be My Baby, is featured in called Bo Is Afraid. Yeah, which looks, sounds exciting. It's a horror movie, which is interesting yeah. that they use that song. But it has Joaquin Phoenix and one of my favorites, Parker Posey, is in it too. Par Girl, yes, one of my friends also loves Parker Posey, and he sent me, because they took photos, Mariah and Parker Posey took photos. Yes. And he was like, oh my God, I cannot believe Mariah and Parker are yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, if you're not familiar, like, if, yeah. If you're not familiar with Parker Posey, watch Party Girl, her, one of her, her movie Party Girl. Yeah. It's There's, so good. She's in so many great things. Everything uh, she does is phenomenal. Yeah. So. And I also heard that um, Bo is Afraid had a really good, like, box office opening. It's an independent film, so it's not, like, meant to make, like, millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. But per theater that it was played in, I think it made, like, 80, 80 grand per theater okay. it was made in, which is really big for a small independent three-hour movie that yeah. probably caught... I know, oh, remember? I remember reading, because it's a small independent movie, yeah. that the, uh, uh, like, two-thirds of the budget for the movie went just to use Mariah's song in it. <laughs> That's the price you pay. Honey, when you want a diva. Yes. <laughs> gotta, you got to pay the price. Exactly. Do we get the whole so, song? I hope they got the whole song for that then. Well, allegedly it is played during a sex scene. <gasps> so <laughs> it's going to be real interesting to see how the song sort of folds in there. Is it a sped up version? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Like, how do they use Please it? There's no sped up version. <laughs> Please, no. No, I, I can't handle it. Well, I'm curious to see it just for that. I know. I want to see it too. But what about but, our innocent always be my baby getting used in a sex scene? That's why we have to go investigate and see how back alley this sex scene is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We just have to, we're going to have to go see. But I don't know, three hours? That's a long time. It's long. That sounds like a streaming movie. So you can like pause it at home, go mm -hmm. to the bathroom, go get yourself snacks mm -hmm. as needed, come back yeah. the next day if you have to. Yeah. Turn it off after That's... the Mariah scene. Yeah. If you so want. Hopefully it will go to streaming quickly because I can't, I can't yeah. be going sitting in the theater for three hours. Yeah. And then what if I have to get up and go to the bathroom and then the sex scene comes on? All right. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. So that's something to, cool. so much, already so much stuff to look out for. Yeah, absolutely. Excited. So we're going to take a quick, yeah, we're going to take a quick splash break. But if you're enjoying the show, as always, we need your help in supporting it and helping us grow the show. And you can do that by leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts. You just go to your Apple Podcast app, type in the Mariah Report, scroll down a little bit, and there's a re review section. Hit the five stars while you're listening. And that really helps us out a lot. It helps um, other people find us and also helps us with the charts, climbing up the charts over there. And Apple. you know we love the charts. Yes, so we do. please. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a break, and we'll be right back.
All right, Splash Breaks are back in business. Yes, and speaking of splashes, yeah, <laughs> let's do a little bit of a food and beverage report for the top of this moment. That's what we do now. That's what we do. Hey, we have to cover all all areas. <laughs> yeah, well, shout out before we jump into the to the splash report. Shout out to the Mariah Cookies that are going strong still. Oh yes, oh yes, we love those. We should do a follow they, up. They and, have, yeah, we'll order those. And see how they're doing, you know, because sometimes they might have a new cookie available. Exactly. Or the recipe can change a little bit. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you know. We should reinvestigate. We'll to, yeah. Actually, Maybe. question for the listeners. Have you guys been getting the Mariah cookies? What's the latest? Yes. Tell us what's up with, with, the, with the cookies. We, yeah. We need to know. Yeah. Um, but for a while now, so we've known Black Irish, honey. I've been sipping on it for, what, at least a good year, year and a half almost now. I know. That um, shocks me because I feel like it's... Five years old now. I know. I feel like, I feel like we've always I had like Black Irish. Yeah. Yes, because it's such a staple in my <laughs> house now. <laughs> yeah. In particular, the salted caramel version, because that is the best, but I'll take the original any yeah. day of the week. Mm-hmm. And and we love everybody, so shout out to the um, white chocolate as well. Oh, do you know what? So I discovered that the local liquor store by me on my corner of the street sells Black Irish, uh-huh. but they only have the white chocolate. Get you get out of here. I felt punked. Uh, so I, felt, how, uh, like, <laughs> I felt some kind of way about it. <laughs> I mean, you might need to talk to their supplier, honey, and be like, yeah. you need to switch this out. We need at least the original. <laughs> yeah. At least. Don't yeah. get crazy over here. I know. But, but it's going, going strong. About, Black Irish. It is. Yes. It is going strong. You had a good holiday season, yes. you know, with the with the the box set and everything, and the cute little mug, which is super cute. Yes, um, I saw yes, it in real yes, life yes. in my own eyes, so it looks like a great piece for the collection. Um, I think at the Christmas shows, I was serving Black Irish in the VIP section, so it was getting some love over there. And then we also got a little video from Mariah on St. Patrick's Day. You get some multi multi holiday beverage. Oh, yes. You can do it at all times. Yes. Any time of the year, just like I do. Yes. Come on. On the beach. <laughs> and, and here's the other thing about it. Any time of the year. And now they're going to be selling it outside of the United States. Well, that was, so, yes, that was a huge thing the fans were asking for. And we would get a lot of requests saying, do you know they sell it out anywhere else? We can't, <laughs> or, the, or the, we couldn't get it in Europe. Uh, you know, sort of difficult to come across in some states in, this, in America as well. So we're glad the distribution is expanding. But, yes, um, well, um, there's, but there's a little bit of news about that because, you know, they've been, been in this big legal battle. Yes. And that's why it's going to be expanding now because they, the, she, there was a legal battle over the name. Right. So remember, company, yeah, remember, just to refresh everyone's memory, back yeah. when it first launched, I think like day one, we found an article from like Food and Wine magazine or something. And they explained about how it had to get it got blocked in Europe, the name Black Irish, because there was already a drink called Black Irish available in Europe. It, right, exactly. And so that and stopped there was a it. Big dispute. Yes. So that put everyone or the European Lambs' dreams on hold. Right, but it's gonna it's gonna be coming soon. Yes. But what happened was I just wanna read a little from this little article that I found is um, they say the two year plus legal battle has resulted in darker still spirits agreeing to sell its black Irish name to Mariah. Its whiskey and stout drink has been renamed born Irish following the sale. So basically they sold it to her. So she basically bought the name yes, so that she could use it. And now we don't have to worry about any of the courts mm-hmm. And the legalness of it all, and they seem very pleased with however they much they sold it for. No drama. Um, very civilized. No drama. Uh, yeah, everything is great. Yes. Everything is going to be great and wonderful. So Black Irish coming soon, hopefully to the UK. To Europe, yes. Yes, yes, we love it. I know. So yay, European lambs. You can go get your Black Irish now. Absolutely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And also, so you... Did you mention this? They're expanding to South America, the Caribbean as well? Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, girl, they're going everywhere. All around. They're going everywhere. I know, I know. It is, it is good. And here, But here's the thing. like, They need to start putting this stuff in restaurants. 
Yes. That's, that's what, because I, you know, I work in a restaurant and we have something that uses another Irish cream uh-huh. that I will not say the name of. And I was like, I don't understand why you, we don't get Mariah's thing in here. And they're like, oh, it's so much a thing. It's, it's, you got to get it from the top. And it, I was like, girl, I will bring in a bottle <laughs> and we could use that instead. Yeah. I, you don't even have to pay me. Yeah. Just as long as we put it on the bar so people can see. <laughs> oh, for display reasons. I'll bring, I'll bring in the Alika shoe. <laughs> um, oh, but I don't think it works that way. Well, the Black Irish is going strong, which we like to see. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And you were saying that she had posted a video uh, on St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Over there celebrating. But she says it was, it was a lonely St. Patrick's Day. Okay, now that sent people into a spin when she said that. It sent me into a spin, <laughs> yes, too. But then you I sent me like, spinning, because I wasn't spinning until you started spinning. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was spinning. <laughs> <laughs> because we, we have been seeing, and this is the spin here. You know, even when Mariah came into my restaurant and all these photos, specifically the holidays like Valentine's Day mm-hmm. and St. Patrick's Day, mm-hmm. We've seen no Brian Tanaka. Missing in action. Completely missing in action. When he wasn't there at the restaurant for Millie Bobby Brown's birthday party, mm. I was like, what is going on? Mm. And then she posted for that a lonely, a lonely St. Patrick's Day. I was like, girl, <laughs> you're lonely? <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> well, that's when you convinced me. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I think it's true. But basically, oh. we thought Brian was gone. And we, me and Dan spun out of control. We were very upset. We convinced yes, ourselves. We were, we were heartbroken, completely heartbroken. <laughs> yes. I was in denial at first. But then you could talk. I was, in, I was angry. I was sad, and then I was angry. <laughs> <laughs> but oh my gosh. lo and behold, fast forward to her anniversary, and he appeared. He reemerged, and yes. we realized we were crazy, made up stories. Yeah, so we're just making things up in our head. Yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the paranoia just jumped out, <laughs> yeah. and nothing was wrong so, at all. Nothing was wrong. Nothing was wrong. She was out there on the yacht in the water, swimming with the sharks, mm-hmm. almost, mm-hmm. and looking gorgeous and beautiful mm-hmm. with the kids and everything, and snuggling up with Brian shirtless. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Hello, Brian. Yeah. There you are. Uh-huh. I see you. I see what you're doing." Listen, maybe he had a job. He had to go work for a few months. There's, there's so many things he could have been doing. Yeah, so many things. So, but he's back. They're, to, uh, they're, they're together. Yes. False alarm. False alarm. Complete false alarm. Yeah. Complete. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, Mariah was having fun in the uh, Dominican Republic, I believe, she was uh, floating around. Right. Yeah. And we got pictures of from her anniversary. She was in that gorgeous dress. On the boat. Great hair. The yes. kids. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Mm-hmm. All of it. Swimming. We got, mm-hmm, we got, she did a little TikTok video of all the sunsets and Water, whatever the rich people do, that's yeah. what she was showing us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was good. <laughs> but we got a Twitter space again from her. She jumped on the Twitter. That was the moment. Mm-hmm. That was the moment because it's been a while since she's been on the Twitter. Mm-hmm. Talking. Um, but let's play a clip and then we should discuss. Yes. Like certain, um, you know, there's obviously the butterfly lounge, but there's there's other stuff I'm not allowed to say until I sign the deal. But major stuff that I know you will all love. I believe in it. And I'm just super excited because this is something I've never done before. There's two things I've never done before. And then there's a whole nother thing. So I'm sorry to be so vague and ambiguous. But I want you to um, be ready. And it's time. We we got to. It's almost sunset. But I'm going to jump in that water one more time. Can you guys give me some good wishes? All right. Did you catch that nugget? Doing something that she hasn't done before. Yes, and she has multiple things in the works here. Right. And something she's never done before. And I'm and and then she like briefly said something, butterfly lounge. But I'm like, girl, that was so twenty. We've heard years that ago. before, yeah. We've heard that. <laughs> so we don't believe you. There is no butterfly lounge. Yeah. <laughs> so give us whatever else you got. Yeah. <laughs> 
What do you but think? But that I think was the most exciting thing from that Twitter space. And I, here's my thing. This is this is sort of going with our, you know, how we love to make up things just out of nowhere, mm-hmm. or we hear things in the back alley mm-hmm. or on the street. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think one of the things she's going to do is a duets album, very much like she did with that song she did with Tony Bennett and all that kind of stuff, because think about it. Mm. Now, this is this is my theory behind that. We've been hearing that she she's mentioned before how she's doing things with, like, legends or other young young artists. We obviously had the big energy with Lotto, so, like, you know, she's working with other people. Mm-hmm. There's been the rumors of her and Maxwell ever since the Hot 97 thing came. Mm-hmm. Um, there's been rumors that she worked with the Clark sisters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's missing, um, that thing. Uh-huh. And then there's, we were just mentioning the Olivia Newton-John. She could throw that on a duets album. She could. Although I want it to be a studio version. Yeah. Obviously, we have the Brandy from last year. Throw that on a duets album. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying, like, she could be working with a lot of people here, you know? So I think that would be, like, it would be concept, but it, I would take it. Okay. I just had a new theory that just came into my head. Okay, what is it? Maybe she's the musical director for the Mean Girls movie coming out. The music, the version, the musical version. Maybe she's doing oh that oh okay. Because remember when All she right. did the Tina Fey yep. quiz? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely, she could be doing something for that. Okay, that's, that's something she's never one. done before. You put a, a pin in that one because that might be it. Okay. <laughs> Just putting the clues together, you know. Yes. There's also been, like, people have been saying that, like, because there's, um, remember that show Smash? Yes. That's apparently going to be on Broadway. So maybe she's writing music for that. Ah. That's been another sort of rumor that's been floating around. Because she has a Broadway bug now. Right. And it's a show based on Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. You know, so she's meet, greeting, and mingling with all the Broadway folks mm-hmm, now. Mm-hmm. You know, Mark Shaman, you know, all that kind of good stuff. She needs to get herself a Tony. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Because we know she's not going to get a VMA anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, because they're haters. Yes. Shoot. Let her get a Tony. Uh-huh. Exactly. But also no. the VMA is not in the EGOT qualification. Okay, well, that, so <laughs> yes, who cares? We don't, so we don't care. <laughs> It's, yes, so we don't care. Yeah. Yes, you're right. You're right. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but, yeah, that's, I think, so there could be a lot of things coming. And I think we have we all know that, you know, she's been working on some sort of scripted movie or TV series for, based off the book. Mm-hmm. So there's always that to look forward to. Mm-hmm. What else is has she been sort of hinting at? Butterfly Lounge, streaming service things, like. All kinds of stuff. Hinting, so, hinting. You know. Yeah. But lots of hints. Yeah, but now see, I think now the fact that she is showing up on stage on, at these big events, I think there's the stuff is something is about to get released. Yes, like something is gonna absolutely. come at least one of those things are coming out. So, we're gonna at least get new pride merchandise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're at least getting that. Exactly, exactly. Which she has to announce that very soon because the pride is right around the corner. So Yeah. Um so yes. Okay, so stuff is coming. Yes. It has to be. Absolutely. I mean, look how look how much we loved sort of the surprise of the Madison Square Garden uh Christmas show going to Paramount Plus. Yes. And being on TV. Like that was a really good end of the year present and surprise and I don't think anyone was sort of expecting that. Super good. Yes. Uh-huh. So, um so that was a good moment. So I do think she has good moments coming for us that mm-hmm. are mm-hmm. That's, yeah, going to enter- keep us entertained. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. However, back to her legend status, it's getting bigger as well and, and continuing. Mm-hmm. So some big news that just came out recently is that her song, speaking of Christmas, actually. Yes. <laughs> all, I want for, all I Want for Christmas is You has been officially inducted or, or um, is now a part of the Library of Congress. It's officially in yes. the library. The National Recording Registry inducted it along with a bunch of other songs. They do like a handful of songs like every year. And it's now in the Congress of Library, the Library of Congress. I know. It's official. Official. 
it's like that's like literally iconic. Yeah. Like you are now like a piece of history of right. this nation. Yes. And of the world, really. But like to have that song go in there exactly and to be recognized like that. Yes. I'm just like I'm that another great pleasant surprise. Like I love that. I know. Well, also now... I can't think of any song that is more well-deserving. Right, especially the cultural <laughs> really? impact it's had around the world as well. Like, what do you have to yeah. do to get into the Library of Congress? Uh, well, you got to write a song like <laughs> All I Want for Christmas is You. Yeah. Okay. I know. And also, well, now it's going to be an academic reference too. F- future historians can pull on the library resources and read about Mariah Carey. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's... A cultural phenomenon. Mm-hmm. Um, and I love that. Yeah. I mean, just that's just like another thing to put in our library when we come, like our own personal library, when people like come across as Mariah haters. Mm-hmm. Girl, we will just pull that out and be like, your fave could never. Yeah. <laughs> never. <laughs> J-Lo's not in there. Yes. And then if they're hating, you're like, are you talking about Mariah Carey, Library of Congress, inductee? Songwriter? Yeah. You're, ta- you're talking about that? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, what have you done with your life? Yeah, uh-huh, exactly. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. yeah, no, that's a really great honor and accolade. So she might not have a VMA, but she is in the <laughs> National Recording Registry. Yes. In the Library of Congress. So I'll take it. A huge congrats. But also, hopefully, this, like, maybe opens the door for our dreams of getting more Mariah stuff into the museums. And the national exactly. yes. registries around the country. Absolutely. Especially the National African American History Museum, which we visited. And I was like, where is the Mariah? Yes. Not a, not a name, not a reference, not a nothing. And I not was like, a, hello. Yes, I know. We need to get her in there next. We need a whole exhibition. Yes. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. Come on. I want to see the gowns. The gowns. The, the outfits. The heartbreaker jeans. Yes. Everything. Everything. All the yeah. moments. Oh, we need it. I mean, that'd be fun. And you get to, like, walk through it. Oh, a dream. A dream. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. I know. Maybe one day. Well, it could happen now. We have, a, we have a, like, an official receipt to present. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, okay. But I think that is going to wrap up our comeback episode of 2023. Yes, I think so too. And maybe even tell us what did we miss? What do you want to talk about? Check the show notes. All the links are there. You can email us, leave a voicemail, leave a comment. There's a form, a Google form you can fill out now. Um, So check it out and share your thoughts. And your what was your favorite Mariah moment of the year so far? Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear everything. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite black Irish? What's your favorite cookie? Uh huh. Any of them. all the things. <laughs> Ask Dan questions about his Mariah encounter. Yes, all the yes. things. Also, if you want to support the podcast, you know we always need support behind the scenes. It's a little indie show over here. Check out our merch store. It's back. We have some really cute stuff in there. My favorite thing in there is the hoodie that I lived in for months mm. over the winter. I showed it to Dan. He wants one now. I, was like, oh, I need one. It's good. It's super cute. You throw a denim jacket over the top of it. It's a whole ensemble now. Yes, girl, a vibe. It's, it's great. Cute. Yes, yes. And if you want to, another way to support the show, join our Patreon page. It's five bucks a month. Mm-hmm. You can cancel anytime. There's tons of bonus content over there. There's Dan's unfiltered real time story of meeting Mariah over there as well um, and can't, you know, like I said no strings and it helps us out a lot so um, check it out as well and we're going to go do the after show for Patreon right now as we always do so thanks for tuning in thanks for continuing to listen we love appreciate and enjoy you all love see you soon bye bye